Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific. So whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross watchers for Aries. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you here. I'm going to pull from um, Divine Abundance Oracle. This is in honor of the upcoming Jupiter Uranus conjunction happening, uh, being exact. It's all they're already conjunct on April 20th. I do have a special private reading offer for that. There is a link in the description box below. You can go read about it, check it out, but it's for anything where you're looking for a, a little bit of abundance and blessings, hence the Oracle, um, and areas of life where that may um, <clears throat> be in the cards for you, no pun intended. Here we go. All right, so. You get right action. A paragraha literally means let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. Right? So this is about right action. I love that word, paragraha. Heard it first from my daughter, who is an Aries. So it's got special meaning to me. So that conjunction, um, it's already occurring. It only occurs every 14 years, so it's pretty powerful. But Jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance. Um, it's spiritual. It's wise. It's, um, to me, the planet of cash and prizes. Jupiter always wants to give us good things. And so when he meets up in um, the celestial heavens with the planet Uranus, which to me is like lightning in a bottle. Anything can happen and probably will. Expect the unexpected, pivots, turn, turns of fate, twists of fate, breakthroughs are even possible. Um, yeah, Uranus can shake things up and sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to be shown like for the 300th time, the off-ramp, um, right? To get ourselves off a path that isn't in alignment. It can show us um, opportunities that are right under our nose. Um, so I kind of really am excited for it. It's happening in the sign of Taurus. So that would be the uh, astrological focus for your natal chart, okay? And that's why I'm offering a special offer, $75 off my normal rate, which is about 30%, a little bit more. Um, yeah, check it out. Here we go. Oh, nine of Wands, Perseverance, the overall energy for your reading. What's the challenge? Um, you're not feeling real patient at this moment, Seven of Pentacles, right? You're pushing through, something's exhausting, it's, um, right? taking a, a, a toll on you to some degree and the seven of pentacles is giving me the feeling like this has been going on for a while and your patience is wearing thin unconscious awareness the nine of pentacles you're 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 kind of going it alone here um in the past two of pentacles some indecision on the fence feeling torn page of swords and your conscious awareness um, Page of Swords, your curiosity is, is at an all-time high. Um, maybe there's a need for some uh, for a message that would be clarifying, and then you can take your leap, you know, assess the risks and decide whether you're in or you're out. Fool. That is beautiful. Okay, so an abbreviated Celtic cross. Let's jump into the clarifiers. Nine of Wands again. Queen of Wands, which is Aries energy, Three of Cups. Wow. Feel like you want the joy back. Yeah, you want the joy back. The unity. Right? Sometimes we're just kind of like, ugh. This, this is feeling like a slog with that Nine of Wands. Something is getting 
uh, a little bit too stressful, um, exhausting. It's happened. It's been going on for a while. And there's a part of you that's just sort of like, uh, I just, just would really like to have some joy. So let's see the Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in the Chariot. Um, yeah, for, for whatever reason, you're sort of kind of doing your own thing. Um, but I feel like it's, you're ta it's taking a toll a little bit uh, on an emotional level. Right, you you may not be on the same page with this person, or um, you may be feeling like you don't have a very co-creative, cooperative um, experience in the connection. Maybe it's more like a friends with benefits kind of a situation, even. Um, and there's the chariot, chariot, forward motion, progress. Um, sometimes a chariot moves away from something. To serve you know the higher good and sometimes it moves towards something so i feel like that's what i'm looking at here in in the past and up till now mm, on the fence feeling torn do i keep moving toward this even though this is exhausting and taking a toll on me and i really just kind of want to sometimes girls just want to have fun right or do i just go for broke take a leap um, so I feel like that's what you're trying to assess right now. Let's see that two of pentacles in the past. Seven of pentacles again, the moon. Yeah, this has been whatever this is about. Um, and remember, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it's going to be a little different for everybody. Take it as it resonates for you. It's starting to get your apprehensions up. It's taking a long time. You're not really sure what's happening here. Um, it could go either way. But right now with that four of cups um, from your unconscious awareness, th there's this overriding energy of mm, I, th this doesn't feel good to me. I'm like a little disappointed, disillusioned even. Uh, with that four of cups, there's a little tinge of unhappiness with the state of affairs. And you've been at this for a while. Maybe you've known this person a long time. Maybe things haven't changed for a long time. And they're kind of, I'm not seeing signs of stagnancy, but that nine of wands twice tells me that you're kind of like on your last legs here. You're not sure anything's going to change. So Page of Swords is why you got some curiosity about the situation, maybe a need for some clarity. Yes. Ace of Swords. Full again, right? So I feel like what's coming to light for you, Ace of Swords, the Aces are gifts from spirit, right? You can see the hand of spirit there, putting that Ace of Swords right in front of you. And the gift is of insight. It's like an aha moment. It's like where you go, oh, I see this either differently or clearly now that I'm just going to have to take a chance. If I think this connection is something sacred, something special, has the potential for something more long term, I'm just going to have to take the risk. So I feel like that's what's coming to light. And it may be that you've been undecided about it, a little apprehensive, worried, even fearful that you'd end up with the short end of the stick here. Um, things don't feel good as they are right now. It's a constant struggle for you. And since it's been happening for a while on some level, you know something needs to change. Please understand, the Fool is out here twice. This is the planet Uranus, <laughs> okay, which rules the sign of Aquarius, yes, but I just got, talking, got done talking about the powerful conjunction coming up that we're actually in the energy of right now, but the exact conjunction on the 20th of April. So keep that in mind. This can, everything can change on a dime at any time. And this would be that even though this is not a date and time specific reading, 
everything that's happening in the cosmos kind of affects what the energies are. So anything can change on a dime at any time. Be prepared. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the near future looks good. Uh, I feel like, you know, just sort of trusting your instincts here. Um, yes, do we want to assess the risk? Sure. But you've been doing that for a long time. You've been playing it safe here for a long time and nothing has changed. And I feel like you're becoming aware of that. And so the possibility for you going forward is that just in the action of taking that leap of faith, and remember, you got right action. A paragraha literally means let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. And yet it requires an action. It requires trust. And that's what could bring about a lot of comfort and healing and happiness and bliss and reconciliations, reunions, reconnecting, um, yeah, and even I like judgment here because it's like a second chance. And what I'm, why I'm saying that is because the way things are going right now feels like a struggle. What's coming up, the opportunity for you feels like freedom. Just in the taking a chance and not hedging your bets feels like freedom. And I feel like some kind of conversation is needed and that page of swords is the clue. Um, that once you say, you know, hey, I think we have something here. I think we should keep moving forward. What do you say? Like, let's just keep taking it one day at a time. But of course, right, meaning that you kind of take the pressure off the situation, especially if you're dealing with somebody who is um, not real comfortable in the realm of talking about touchy-feely kind of things to just say, I, I feel like we got something good here. And that's what I'm after. Let's just have a good time and enjoy ourselves in this moment But because I think we do have something good. The minute you say that, what happens is it takes the pressure off of both of you. And that's what I'm feeling from the fool is that liberation. It's like, I'm going to take a chance. And then you do, and it's like, oh, why didn't I do that so long ago? So really interesting reading so far here, Aries. I'm going to give you the astrology, but please know that there is an extended to this. So if this is resonating for you and you want a deeper dive, the link is in the description box below. I'm going to remind you, and in case you're new and this is your first time with me, there are a few different links. So you want to be sure one says new Aries monthly. That is a monthly option with unlimited access to all the Aries extendeds and the new moon and full moon and the uh, monthly energy update collections as well. Right below that, it says one time purchase. And that is for this extended only. So be sure you know what you're looking at. Okay. So I wanted to let you know, here we go. We have uh, got queen of wands is Aries. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Our Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Chariot is more Cancerian energy. Uh, the Moon is the Moon, which rules Pisces. We have Page of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Fool is Uranus, which rules Aquarius. We have that twice, so lots of Aquarian energy, which is interesting. The sun is the sun rules Leo, and judgment is Pluto, which rules um, Scorpio. So the link to the extended where I'm going to be looking at this person that you're dealing with, how, what's their energy? How do they see this situation? So you're going to get it from their point of view. Um, how they see you, think about you or feel about you at this time, what are their intentions toward this connection, and then we'll get some guidance from spirit as well. That's what I'm going to go uh, do for you in the extended blah, 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 blah. Um, if you've enjoyed this reading, please join us here by subscribing below, and um, I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second.